What's going on guys? Today we are at Imbibe in downtown Chattanooga. They're having a special event released today. It's a free raffle um, from 11 to 4 p.m. today. The raffle is at 4. And they're, they're going to raffle three bottles that are fairly hard to find. Some Elijah Craig 18, some Warehouse C.E.H. Taylor, and some Pappy Van Winkle 10 year. Now that last one got a lot of people's eyes raised. So there's a lot of people around. We're actually in some inclement weather today. It's a lot of rain. So we're going to go inside and do a little uh, interview, see what people are going for, what people are excited for, and also see what new things Mbob has in. Mbob is really known for having a lot of craft brands, so if you want something that's unusual, that's not your typical Buffalo Trace, this is the place to come. So, let's get into it. Check out this weather, guys. A little mini tsunami right now. Let's get inside. So guys, check out this fan fan, right? All the people, they got a lot of sample, they got beer, wine tasting going on. I don't know if you guys are familiar. Well, everybody knows this brand, but I don't know if you guys knew they had a champagne, but Lamborghini Champagne. And it's actually a discount, it's about $93. Normally it's around $130. So a little discount for some Lamborghini. If you can't afford one, you gotta have something Lamborghini. Uh, they got some short barrels, releases, Blue Note, Store Pits, National Lampoon, box wine, and Goose Island beer. I've heard a lot about Goose Island. Never officially tried it myself, but heard a lot about it. Of course, we got friends here. We got Matt. We got this guy. Hey, this guy. This FDO. And then we got Josh. You guys will see Josh in another video coming soon. But while we wait, let's look at the whiskey selection. All right, so we got, of course, Japanese whiskey. Got the Five World Blend. This is actually the cheapest I've seen it, $50. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this, it has a blend of Irish, Scotch, American, Canadian, and Japanese whiskeys all in one bottle. So a really cool bottle to have if you've never had it. I really like Japanese whiskey. Uh, so that's something I really want to grab myself. Suntory, anything from the um, Suntory Distillery, huge fan of. Of course, we got our scotches. We got Valmore. Got McAllen, everybody knows McAllen. And then we come to the burger section. There's yes, a Whistle Pig. We got Joseph Mag, Smoke Wagon, Barrel. Oh, the Barrel New Year. Oh, clearance, $59.99. I see. So, that, so they come out with a new release every year, like a pre sample so it, before yeah. so the New Year, is, right? Well, what it is is it's the uh, barrel age, right? Their, their regular barrel bourbon. Uh -huh. They do a, a small batch for the end of the year. Yeah. So on some of these different ones, right? So you got your bottle, 4,701, whatever. So this is what we're looking at, right? Yeah. This is that juice right there. Okay. So this juice right here is at cast strength, mm -hmm. uh, blended straight bourbon whiskey, bottle number, age years. So basically what they do is they run batches like this, but they pick specific ones for the New Year's bottles. Gotcha. And that's how they do it. And they only put so many out each year. Gotcha. So I've got 2021 and 2022. I have not got 2023 yet. Well, it's there for your fancy collection, man. I know, right? Yeah, there, there you go. Look, and it's on clearance. That's the problem. It's, a, it's, a, it's the problem. <laughs> it's not, man. That's a good problem to have. Yeah. Then we got uh, some Green River. Green River is really good for the price. Um, Stray Hands, Blackened, Wilderness Trail. I've heard a lot about Wilderness Trail lately. Uh, have you tried it yet? I've tried the... Um, the North Shore uh, single barrel, they, they came out with Okay. It. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh oh, I think it's time for the raffle, guys. Oh, Frank Johnson, we got one already. Well, that's Pappy. You think it's Pappy? Think so? Hope not. So these are the bottles everybody's going for. This is our first winner here, man. So what do you, what are you going for? I'm going to do Taylor. Taylor, Warehouse C. All right. So Warehouse C is already gone. If this raffle, they're going to give you time. They're going to call you, even if you're not here present, they're going to give you a call. It's not something that I necessarily enjoy now that I've experienced the other raffle. You have to be physically present. 
because I actually wanted the other raffle when I wasn't present. Yeah, Roger Craig, 18 is the next one grab. Was, was that your bottle, John? Uh, I, I definitely grab it. <laughs> Calvin Schuler. Sorry about that. Calvin Schuler. Ah, Warehouse, he was a great one. That, that was good. That was the one. That was the one, man. That was. I've never seen that bottle in person, so I would really, really love to have that in the collection. You know. But, I mean, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with, can't go wrong with what's up there. Yeah, the phone call thing kind of takes the fun out of it a little bit. Yeah, it does. That's why I like going to the other one. You have to be present. Yeah, the, that's the North Shore. Yes. Yeah, I like those. It's fun. All right. The next selection is being made currently. And Pappy is out the door. Pappy is done. Nah, man. And with that selection, guys, I am bowing out. <laughs> that's the last thing that I wanted from the selection. Who's going for that Willet? That 300, man. I'm not copping that up. Yeah, I'm just not familiar enough with Willet to try to drop that much on a bottle. So, that's just not me. I'd rather really, really try it a couple of times first. I get going the regular stuff. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like Willet now. The next person just been pulled. They're not here either, so they're giving them a phone call. And they have between the Sinatra Select and the Willet 10 year. Family Reserve ride. But while we're waiting for them to make that call, for them to make a selection, just look back at the store. I mean, have a huge wine selection, huge champagne selection, um, really nice store, really cool people here. Um, if you're ever in Chattanooga, downtown Chattanooga, stop in, man. They're really cool people. And they, like I said, they really specialize in craft brands. You know, you'll find some of the staples like you know, Wild Turkey and Penelope and Elijah Craig and things like that. But they also have brands you probably never heard of. Manager here makes a really strong push to give smaller brands a chance for some shelf space. So you come in here and it may look completely different. Got some 13 Colony down here. It's not the double oak, but you know, it's 13 Colony. Um, if you're looking for that, they got it. Of course they got their Dickel. Everybody has to have Dickel. Middle West Spirits. I'm not familiar with this brand at all. Aged over three years. And this one is a dark pumpernickel. I don't even know what a pumpernickel is. So I'm going to probably stay away from that one. But all in all, man, it's a really cool store. I like coming here. Like I, said, I come here when I'm not looking for any of the allocated things. They get allocations every now and then, and they handle them. Kind of like this, they just put them out first come, first serve. Like I said, this was a free raffle. There was no monetary buy-in required at all. So you just, you know, come in, write your name, write your number, wait around. If you won, they call you. And we just got our last selection. All right, so the Willet and the Sinatra have both been passed. They've been claimed and given back. And most of the people have already left. So. It's gonna be a fun drawing. <laughs> so what happened? You you just won. We just won, but we had to pass. I get it cheaper. We can get it cheaper other places. Well, yeah, fair enough. I've seen on average like around 200 for the. Daniel That's not my name. So if you guys won the Sinatra Select for 165, would you have taken it? Or would you have passed? I see it around 200 on average. So that's a pretty good price. That one of the cheaper ones that I've seen. So drop a comment down in the section. Let me know which one you would have taken. Would you have taken the Sinatra for 165 or the Willow 10 year for 330? I got dibs on that uh, other Pappy you got under the shelf, you know. <laughs> on that second Pappy, I'll take that one. So this is their barrel pick section it's right in the middle. Um, we got Chattanooga whiskey, got some Maker's Mark, Wild Turkey. These are the big handles. We got an Old Elk single barrel for 82. 99 comes in at 107 proof age eight years bottle 269 uh, we have a, a laws four grain bourbon uh, this comes in at 119.2 proof yeah one 119.2 let me see what's the age stamp on this uh, age at least three years so there's that if you're familiar with balls, let me know. I haven't tried it before. Uh, we have another, we have Burning Chair. This comes in at another 118.2. Sagamore Rye Spirit. 
Uh, we got Town Branch. We got a Good Times Apple Ride. I like Good Times as a brand. Um, they do a really good, a lot of good finishes that I've liked. Um, so I already have this bottle, but it's a really good one. Comes in for a hundred dollars though, so they're a little pricey. A little pricey. Uh, we have a new Rift single barrel for sixty. And it's a rye. Uh, it comes in at 104.2. If you're ready, we can try that when we get to the house. I got one too. Oh, do you? Yeah. I like good times. Don't like rye. <laughs> I'm not really a good times fan. Yeah. But that one is all right. Oh, yeah. I like I really it. Like. I bought it after they came out with the uh, Neapolitan finish. Yes. Yep. And, I, and that introduced me to good times. So. That's a good one to get started with. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I think what's the last pick they have is a three chord three chord private barrel and that's sixty dollars comes in at what is this um uh, 119.2 again obtainium 126 yeah 120 no 124.6 excuse me 124.6 and then jefferson's i'm not really a jefferson's fan but it comes in at 74 dollars and it's 100 proof. So simple, single barrel. But wow, all in that's all. What I got. So you, you got the Willet. Yes, sir. All right. Well, she got it, actually. <laughs> She's the winner. You're the winner. <laughs> OK. Fortunately for me, I'm a her. Well, and there you go. But as soon as I have it fried out of her hands, uh -huh. she's Vister. Uh, you know? I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so who brought the uh, Sinatra? Nobody wanted the Sinatra, huh? That was what I wanted until they were like, it's a little more expensive here than you can get it across town. Yeah. And so they're like, you won't find this, so you won't find that. Find the Sinatra somewhere okay. and buy it. So, so I want to try that. I love Jack Daniels. Oh yeah, I like Jack Daniels as well. I mean, I see it, the stores around me are around 200, so that's yeah. it was cheap for what I normally see it for. Yeah. But I also see it for like 150, 149, some places yeah. too. So. Well, I'm excited about this. This could be great. <laughs> People love Willet. People love Willet. There you go. You're going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> so, absolutely, man. All right, guys. So, the raffle is over. So check what they just brought out. That is a fresh box of E.H. Taylor. Sometimes it pays to stay around. I think it's just a regular small batch. But, hey, it's E.H. Taylor. I think they're still doing it raffle style as well. I'm not really sure. I, this wasn't part of the schedule program. Oh, so you trying to get an EH Taylor, Josh? Uh, probably not, no. No, not I got, on it. I think I got two unopened at the house right now, so. I got one, not this. Yeah. I wonder what the, what the charger for it. This is the luckiest guy <laughs> in all the raffles. How many have you won already? Just two. Just two. Look at him. <laughs> That's crazy. It pays not to leave. So now you guys are both winners. Got another winner. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this will probably be the end of our raffle today. But before I get out of here, guys, thank you so much for all the support. Do me a favor, drop a comment. Let me know what you would have gone for. Um, I know we didn't win today, but there's going to be a lot more raffles coming soon. Um, so, as always, you guys be safe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.